Hey everyone, I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. Welcome to our channel where we're going to show you our latest sip cycle. Today I'm here to show you how I upcycled this tired looking chest of drawers into something fun and fresh. I always start off by giving the piece a really good clean using white lightning which I've mixed up in a spray bottle. I spray the piece all over and then give it a good scrub using a microfiber cloth. I always find that pieces are a lot dirtier than they first appear so it's really important not to skip this step. I then rinse off using plain water which will remove any of the white lightning residue. Now it's time to sand. I'm using my electric sander with a 120 grit sandpaper but you can just do this by hand. The intention is to scuff up the surface so that the paint has something to stick to. There are a few screw holes that I want to fill in so I'm using some Dixie Mud and a spatula and I'm simply just filling in those holes. Once this is dry I will sand off the excess and give the whole piece another good clean. I'm going to use my foam roller to apply the paint so that I can achieve a smooth finish. I'm using Desert Rose from the Silk Mineral Paint line, which is a pretty dusky pink. When rollering the paint onto the piece, I make sure I roll in long straight lines, slightly overlapping each roll to ensure full coverage. I will use a brush to get into any of the fine details or crevices. I do love to roller when I'm looking for a nice smooth finish, not only because it's the easiest way to achieve this finish, but also because it really speeds up the process, meaning you can get the painting done much quicker. Once the first coat is dry, it's time to apply the second coat. Two coats was all I needed for this project. I'm totally in love with this pink, and now I want to add something else. I've chosen the chinoiserie transfer and I'm going to apply a design to the front of the drawers. I start off by selecting the sections that I want and cutting them out. I want to use all of the floral sections and some of the birds, so I'm just going to cut around the edges, making sure not to cut too close to the actual transfer itself. This will help greatly when applying the transfer and peeling off the transfer sheet. Now I've decided where I'm going to place the transfers. Make sure that you're certain on placement before you apply as you won't be able to alter it once it has adhered. So remove the white backing sheet and then gently press down to keep it in place. Then using your wooden burnishing tool, you simply need to rub over the whole piece, burnishing it onto the paintwork. Before removing the clear sheet, I always run along the drawer edges with a Stanley knife. This will cut the transfer and allow the drawers to open. You can build up the design by adding the different sections where you want to. And once it has adhered to the paintwork, you can carefully remove the clear sheet. When removing the clear sheet, you may realise that some of the transfer hasn't quite adhered. All you have to do is pop the transfer sheet back and then carry on burnishing it until it is fully adhered. Once you've finished with the transfer, it's time to seal. I'm using some satin clear coat and I'm applying this all over the front of the drawers. This will help to protect the transfer, making them water resistant so that the piece is wipeable. Now the drawers are complete and I am so pleased with how it turned out. I absolutely love the combination of the chinoiserie transfer over the desert rose. Thank you so much as always for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of this makeover. And if you'd like to see any more of our projects, you can join us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Or you can subscribe here on our channel to get notified when we post our next tutorial video. Thanks again guys, hope you have a great day and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.